Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to solve this question. But before starting the solution, like the video and if you are new on my channel, please subscribe it. Let's begin to solve the question. The question is how to calculate the shaded area in this quadrilateral. How can we solve this? Let this is A, this is B, this is C and this is D. Now if we extend the other two sides, so this point is E. By Pythagoras theorem, this length is 3 and this is 4. So this length will be 5. Let this is the height of this triangle and we know that this is the base. So if we can find the height, then we can calculate the shaded area. But how can we find the height? Let this length is A, then the total length is 4. So this will be 4 minus A. If this is 4 minus A, this length will be 4 minus A. And this is 3, so this side will be also 3. If we look at the triangle, triangle DEC, so from triangle DEC, we can write from triangle DEC, we can write A square plus 3 square is equal to 4 minus A whole square. Now if we simplify this, we can write A square plus 9 is equal to 4 minus A into 4 minus A. We can write it like this. Now simplify it more. So A square plus 9 is equal to 16 minus 8A plus A square. Simplify more and we can write 16 minus 8a is equal to 9 and this implies 8a is equal to 7 so a is equal to 7 by 8. Now if a is 7 by 8 then this length will be this is 4 minus a so this will be 4 minus 7 by 8 and if we simplify this this will be equal to 25 by 8. So this length is 25 by 8. Similarly, this length is 25 by 8. Now we can find the height. How can we find the height by Pythagoras theorem from this triangle? This length is 5 by 2. This length is also 5 by 2. So h will be equal to h will be equal to square root of 25 by 8 whole square minus 5 by 2 whole square. If we simplify this, this will be equal to 625 divided by 64 minus 25 by 4 and if we simplify more, this will be equal to 225 divided by 64 and this will be equal to 15 by 8. So this is the height of this uh, triangle. Now what will be the required area? The required area will be equal to half of this base. Now here the base is 5 by 2 and the height is 15 by 8 but this is 2 times so we will again multiply this by 2 and if we simplify this this will be equal to 75 divide by 16 unit square and this is the required shaded area like the video share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you